Good evening, graduates, and welcome, friends, family, and everyone else who's tuning into this live broadcast. My name is Jamie Newman, and to help us kick off this ceremony, I'd like to share just a few quick announcements. And of course, the first announcement is obvious. Congratulations. Congrats to every single graduate. We are so proud of you. What a challenging year it has been, and what an accomplishment. No one said it would be easy, and it wasn't easy, but your hard work has paid off because, well, you're here, you did it. And for some of you, you've already started your new career, and for others, you're now ready to launch into a career that you love. And while we can't see each other uh, face-to-face in person right now, uh, wherever you are, let's all give each of the graduates a massive round of applause. Okay, so here's the plan for this evening's event. First, we have a few special guests who want to congratulate the graduates. Next, we'll hear a student success story. Uh, Then we'll have the valedictorian speeches. And finally, we'll celebrate each and every graduate. And make sure that you stay until the end of the presentation because we're going to have a special virtual grad package to share with you after the ceremony. Let me also say that we would love to celebrate with you on social media. We know it's not the same as being in person, but one of the silver linings of this past year has been the opportunity to embrace technology. And social media is one way that we can share this moment with our friends and our family. So if you're a grad, uh, we have a special graduate photo frame filter that you can use if you haven't already to share with your network on Instagram or Facebook. For Instagram, simply search AOLCC and find our profile. And then navigate to the smiley face right here, click on the photo, uh, the photo frame, and then select try it. Okay, uh, for Facebook, it's a little bit more complicated as you'll need to navigate to our Facebook page, then click on events, then go into this virtual graduation event, click on the first post that you see that says hashtag AOL grad 21, Instagram and Facebook filters are here, and then click on the Facebook link at the bottom. And for everyone else, let's show some appreciation for our grads, which you can do by commenting on this video and sharing a message on whatever social media platform that you prefer. Just remember to use the hashtag AOLgrad21 and tag our page so that we can see it too. Finally, let me also remind all of our graduates, our current students, and our alumni that our referral reward program increased this year to $250 when you refer a friend who starts a program with us. And this virtual graduation ceremony is a great video to share with any friends who might be interested in both celebrating with you, of course, but also any friends who might want to learn more about our college and hear firsthand what the AOLCC experience is all about. And with all that said, let's jump into the presentation, into today's celebration. Here we go. Welcome graduates and guests to our very first virtual graduation. And thank you for attending. 25 years ago, our first Academy of Learning Bank uh, graduation took place. We had afternoon teas and cake which evolved to banquets at each campus with over 600 guests and graduates. And now it's virtual with unlimited attendance. Graduates, we congratulate you on a job well done. You are flexible, determined, and successful over these past months with virtual classes and online training. We also thank our staff for being innovative and reassuring as they provided any assistance that you may have needed. As Elmer mentioned, this is the 25th year of graduates for us. In recognition of these 25 years in your communities, we are pleased to offer one $2,500 scholarship at each of our seven Academy of Learning Career College campuses. Each student enrolled in and started in a new program in May or June of this year will have their name entered into a draw for this scholarship. Graduates, enjoy the many congratulations you will be awarded. You deserve them. And remember that you are well prepared for your new career and new opportunities. Good luck. And once again, congratulations. Good evening, graduates, family, and friends. I'm Karina Kuchin. I'm the General Manager of Academy of Learning 
in Calgary, Edmonton, Medicine Hat, and Red Deer. Thank you for choosing Academy of Learning to be part of your journey to your new career. I'm happy to be part of the celebration of the nearly 700 graduates from our four cities. We are also proud of the hard work and the obstacles you have overcome to get to where you are now. You have shown that you are versatile to change, that you are able to embrace new challenges, that you're able to adapt to learning remotely, which meant that you had to manage your time effectively and learn new ways on how to be a student in a virtual environment. These are all skills that employers demand. Your future is bright. Congratulations to the class of 2021. Good afternoon, graduates. I'm Blaine Calkins, Member of Parliament for Red Deer Lacombe. Thank you so much for including me in the Academy of Learning Career College virtual graduation ceremony. It's an absolute honor to be able to provide greetings and congratulations to the graduating class of 2021. Even though it's been a few years since I graduated, I still recall the excitement and sense of accomplishment that this day brings. You should all be very proud of this important milestone, and I hope that you are looking forward to a bright future. Remember graduates, you are more than you think you are. You're better than you likely give yourself credit for. You're more intelligent than you likely realize, and you have more potential than you ever dreamed possible. Congratulations, class of 2021, and I wish you the very best in your future. Hi, I'm Adriana LaGrange. I'm the MLA for Red Deer North, and I just want to congratulate you on your graduation. This is it's so exciting. It's been such a tough, tough year, and I really appreciate the fact that you've been able to stick it out, and you've been able to, even within a pandemic, have this wonderful celebration for your graduation. So I want to wish each and every one of you all the very best in all of your future endeavors, and just celebrate this day. You've earned it. Congratulations and best of luck. Hi, everyone. I'm Demetrius Nicolaitis, Alberta's Minister of Advanced Education. It's my uh, honor and privilege to be here with all of you today to congratulate uh, each and every one of you, the newest graduates of the Academy of Learning Career College. I know you've all put in a significant amount of hard work and effort to get to this incredible milestone, and I'm incredibly confident that the training and skills development that you've received through your program will set you on a very clear path to future success and prosperity. Once again, I want to wish you all the very best. Congratulations. I know it's a little challenging that we have to celebrate virtually this year, but uh, I know that won't uh, limit your efforts. And I know again, that you will go on to achieve incredible things. So once again, on behalf of the government of Alberta and our Premier Jason Kenney, congratulations and all the very best. Hello everyone, I'm Mayor Taravir with the City of Red Deer. On behalf of Red Deer City Council and the citizens that we serve, we are very proud to be able to congratulate the Academy of Learning Class of 2021. This past year, it almost doesn't even need to be said, has been incredibly challenging for absolutely everyone. But graduates, you should be very proud of yourselves because you've persevered through an incredibly challenging year. You've bettered your education and you've made an investment in, in yourself and your loved ones and above all in your future that you should be incredibly proud of. Uh, we look forward to supporting you in all of your future endeavors and look forward to being able to work alongside you and support you as you take your newfound skills uh, and the certificate and the piece of paper that you hold today out into the world. Congratulations, Academy of Learning, class of 2021. I hope to see you all in the very near future in person. Hello, welcome, and thank you so much for asking me to share my success story with you. I feel like it's a total honor and privilege, privilege to be able to do that. Um, in a nutshell, I have been under copious amounts of stress the last five years from supporting family members with mental health concerns to um, loss of jobs with my husband and um, and finally a separation that uh, I, I didn't see coming. I'm sure most of us don't. Anyway, that was um, that was the beginning of something really great for me. 
And I look back on it now and I see that. So what happened was I knew that at the job I was at, I would not be able to be um, independent and financially secure in my future if I stayed there. And so I needed to make a change. So that brought me to the Academy of Learning and the Community Service and Addictions Worker uh, Diploma. So I went into that uh, with the knowledge um, that this was my one chance. This was my one chance to get a piece of paper to further myself, to be able to provide for myself and my family. And so I treated it as a full-time job. So um, that's what I did. And I really tried every single day when I got up to make the most of the opportunity and to have the best attitude I could, no matter what turmoil was going on in my life personally, I knew that this was my job and I, I needed to bang this out in a year and move forward with my life. And so I set a goal for myself, and that was to set an example for my kids. My kids were teenagers at the time, and I just really felt like it was important that they saw that hard things can happen in life, but that mom didn't just pull up the covers over her head. She got up every day. She made the best of it. She put one foot in front of the other, and I was bound and determined to make that um, their memory of this time. And so that's what I did. And I really found I was being successful in the class. I was getting good grades. I was so excited. I never knew I could get grades like that, but I'd never been so interested in a topic either. And so again, I just felt like I, I had gone through these things for a reason. And that if my getting this diploma ended up in a career where I could share my story and help other people, then all of it would be so worth it. So fast forward a little bit to COVID when that happened and we transitioned to working online. That was a brand new routine. I had to be super disciplined, as I'm sure everyone in this group knows. Um, it's totally different than getting up and going to class every morning. And so, again, mindset, same mindset. Get up in the morning. Be grateful for what I do have. Don't focus on the things that I've lost or how I wish it would be different. And so that's exactly what I did. And we got through that. But I noticed by the end of the diploma, um, my course, that that I was having some fear and some real um, stress around what this was going to look like. How was I going to get a practicum in the middle of a pandemic? How am I going to find a job? And so after a few days of that, I knew I was going to make myself sick, sick if I continued thinking that way. And so I changed my mindset again. And I just thought, you know what, all I have to do today is do the the best that I can with what needs to be done, whether that's write an exam or get hand in an assignment, whatever it was, I needed to do the best that I could that day. And the rest would sort itself out. And that's where my faith comes in. I leaned very hard on my faith during that time. And I really felt like there was a reason for all of this to happen. I just didn't need to know the outcome in that moment. I just needed to know today what I needed to do. And that was it. And so I was very, very fortunate in the spring of 2020 to um, have an opportunity presented to me um, to do virtual mental health support um, for a company called MedCorp Canada. And so it turned out that I got to start um, full time on June 1st of 2020. It counted for my practicum hours and and I had income right away. And so I know I'm extremely blessed and I don't take that for granted for one single second. Um, and in that time, we've been able to create an amazing program that is helping not only our own advocates all across Canada, but south of the border in the States. And we're also bringing it client facing now as well. In uh, January of this year, I was promoted to the manager of the department, which is super exciting and again, Nothing I would have ever dreamed for for myself, um, but I'm so grateful. I am so grateful, and I know I'm here for a reason. I know that I am living out my calling and my purpose, and I did that through hard work and determination and a positive mindset, and as much as I'm a success story, I really do feel that every single graduate here has overcome their own things. It just looks different, and it's not easy. It's it's the hardest, one of the hardest single moments in time of my life. And yet we can all just look back and be so proud of our accomplishments. So for me to each one of you graduates, I just say congratulations and well done. So I do want to just really quickly thank my family. I could not have done it without you. I love you. 
And um, if I can be an encouragement to anyone that you can get through such stressful times and come out on the other side, I really feel like that is why I'm here and why I was asked to speak tonight. So thank you again for the honor and best of luck to each one of you. Welcome family, friends, teachers, students, and many others who have joined us online here today. First off, I'd like to thank everyone who took the time to join us online and watch our virtual graduation. I am very honored and humbled to be able to present the speech. I would like to take the time right now to thank a few people who, without them, I may not have been able to complete this part of my journey. Santana, Brianne, and Carla, thank you for being amazing facilitators and being available to answer any questions I may have had. To Rebecca, without her and her guidance about which course I should take, I may not have the knowledge I have today. To Jordana, who is always there to support, to provide support when needed. To Darlene, with her amazing smile and sunny disposition. She always had kind words of encouragement as soon as you walked in. A huge shout out to the rest of the faculty, whom I never had the opportunity to interact with, but I had heard such amazing things about. You are all terrific ladies. Last and certainly not least, to my friends and family, especially my girls, who without your love and support, I may not be the person I am today. I love you all and thank you. Being a single mom, life was a challenge. I wanted a career, not just a job. I also wanted to provide a decent life for my kids and to be a positive role model in their lives. So I decided to go to college and earn my diploma. I was determined to show my girls you can do anything you set your mind to, no matter what stage of life you are at. After talking with Rebecca, I decided to take computerized business applications. I needed a change. I enjoy working with computers and wanted to work in an office environment. I did not want to work any more jobs that required intense physical labor. While attending Academy of Learning, I met many wonderful people, a few of whom inspired me to continue with achieving my goals. I would like to send out a heartfelt thank you to Linda, Cassie, and Sheridan, just to name a few whom, without ever having the privilege of knowing, I may not be where I am today. You guys were truly an inspiration. I just wanted you to know that. All of us who attended the Academy were there to learn, better ourselves, and fulfill our passions and dreams. We may have been taking different courses, but we all had the same desire, to work towards getting one step closer to our dreams. During these challenging times, we can never be sure of what to expect or even what the future holds in store for us right now. I would just like to take this opportunity to say to anyone that is starting college or thinking of going to college, you may be scared, hesitant, or even unsure of what you want in life, and that is okay. You do not have to know what you want to be or the career you want to have right now at this moment. Take your time and follow your heart. It will always guide you. Dreams change, and change can be scary, but do not allow, allow the fear of the unknown to hold you back from achieving of what you want. I think C.S. Lewis said it best, you are never too old to set another goal or to dream a new dream. With that being said, I want to congratulate all the graduates for all their hard work and dedication. We may have faced new and interesting challenges, experienced some difficult times, and struggled with new ways of learning during these remarkable few months. But here we are today, gathered online to celebrate our achievements. Congratulations, graduates. We did it. Julie Weed. Business Management Honors in All Subjects. Marketing Coordinator Honors. Emily Jensen. Business Administration. Honors. Talia Chavaria. Business Administration. Brittany Kendall. Business Management Jamie Sue Walsh Business Management Mary Vanilda Garcia Business Management Amanda Conley Community Service and Addictions Worker Elman Diaz Community Service and Addictions Worker Jerlyn Gray, Community Service and Addictions Worker. Joanne Sheeflo, Community Service and Addictions Worker. Honors. Jolene Gopher,
Community Service and Addictions Worker. Honors. Kelsey Danielson Baker. Community Service and Addictions Worker. Corin Roth. Community Service and Addictions Worker. Honors. Michelle Hansung. Community Service and Addictions Worker. Honors. Michelle Krulak. Community Service and Addictions Worker. Honors. Susan Gate. Community Service and Addictions Worker. Tara Ward. Community Service and Addictions Worker. Honors. Yanis Lady Era Almaguer. Community Service and Addictions Worker. Honors. Jesse Donovan Patterson. Community Service Worker. Honors All Subjects. Norman Funnel. Community Service Worker. Doris Rux. Computerized Accounting. Janelle Millard. Computerized Accounting. Honors. Sherilene Corpus. Computerized Accounting. Honors. Sarah Rungi. Computerized Accounting Procedures. Linda Campbell. Computerized Business Applications. Honors All Subjects. Jafula Dekana. Computerized Office Procedures. Honors. Lorraine Elmaden. Computerized Office Procedures. Maritz Refugido. Computerized Office Procedures. Shania Purdy. Computerized Office Procedures. Sierra Trichel. Computerized Payroll Accounting. Honors. Susan Lavala. Computerized Payroll Accounting. Alyssa Fedolino. Dental Administrative Assistant. Honors. Diwata Tabora. Dental Administrative Assistant. Jordan Gilbert, Dental Administrative Assistant. Amber Lee Lyle, Educational Assistant. Candace Landry, Educational Assistant. Honors. Jinky Laxina, Educational Assistant. Katrina De Winter Pickering, Educational Assistant. Ludovina Ignacio, Educational Assistant. Terrellyn Chapman, Educational Assistant. Honors. Tracy Lethman, Educational Assistant. Zarlasht Farhad, Educational Assistant. Allison Lomaong. Healthcare Aid. Diana Smetanyuk. Healthcare Aid. Francis Gay Espelimbergo. Healthcare Aid. Gunna Shapovalova. Healthcare Aid. Caitlin Fisher. Healthcare Aid. Honors All Subjects. Kelly Stevenson, Healthcare Aid. Kim Overs, Healthcare Aid. Honors All Subjects. Melissa Gladu, Healthcare Aid. Tashiana Danilova, Healthcare Aid. Kathleen Hughes, Hospitality Management. 
2017 AD. Sherry Schuler, Insurance Advisor. Honors. Olivia Tabin, Insurance Advisor. Ashley Skelton, Legal Administrative Assistant. Lauren Savage, Legal Administrative Assistant. Nicole Davidson, Legal Administrative Assistant. Congratulations to all the graduates. Off to work. Sabine Godin, Legal Administrative Assistant. Honors. Colinda Pitts, Marketing Coordinator. Aerobertina Cava Cruz, Medical Office Assistant. Jessica Riemann Gibson, Medical Office Assistant. Sherry LaRock, Medical Office Assistant. Cassie Cinnamon, Medical Office Assistant with Health Unit Coordinator Specialty. Honors. Jacqueline Sabri, Medical Office Assistant with Health Unit Coordinator Specialty. Jan Marie Agudo, Medical Office Assistant with Health Unit Coordinator Specialty. Honors. Carissa Cuss, Medical Office Assistant with Health Unit Coordinator Specialty. Honors. Kaylee Anderson, Medical Office Assistant with Health Unit Coordinator Specialty. Crystal Heath, Medical Office Assistant with Health Unit Coordinator Specialty. Honors. Kyla Fasik. Medical Office Assistant with Health Unit Coordinator Specialty. Honors. Lorraine Dilag. Medical Office Assistant with Health Unit Coordinator Specialty. Honors. Linda Ellis. Medical Office Assistant with Health Unit Coordinator Specialty. Honors. Marsadi Myra. Medical Office Assistant with Health Unit Coordinator Specialty. Rochelle LaRock. Medical Office Assistant with Health Unit Coordinator Specialty. Honors. Ria Kagoyang. Medical Office Assistant with Health Unit Coordinator Specialty. Honors. Selena Lirondell. Medical Office Assistant with Health Unit Coordinator Specialty. Suzanne Fauger. Medical Office Assistant with Health Unit Coordinator Specialty. Honors. Sydney Nielsen. Medical Office Assistant with Health Unit Coordinator Specialty. Honors. Jody Page. Medical Office Assistant with Veterinary Specialty. Mackenzie Potiak. Medical Office Assistant with Veterinary Specialty. Samantha McKinnonley. Medical Office Assistant with Veterinary Specialty. Christopher McIntosh. Network Administrator. Glenn Hyvonen. Network Administrator Trevor Nichols Network Administrator Dianette Hoganson Payroll Administrator Lisa Hoople Payroll Administrator Rachel Ewan Payroll Administrator Honors I just want to thank all my friends and family for all of your support and encouragement. It meant the world to me. Congratulations to all of the graduates.
it's really it's really changed my life. It's really changed. It's actually helped my life a lot that I'm able to do what I love and still have that proper balance for myself and for my two young daughters. What I think makes Academy of Learning unique is the way we help our students find the career that they will feel passionate about. What I love about the Academy of Learning is our diversity. I just cannot say enough good things. This program is perfect. It lets you have a life outside the program. It lets you do all the things you need to do, like parenting or working or anything, and it still gives you all the knowledge you need to have a job, and it's affordable. What I love most about the Academy of Learning is its people. It is all about people. The best part of my job is to see our students graduate and to see them succeed. The proudest moment for me is to see the success and accomplishment of students and to know that the Academy of Learning has changed their lives. When a student succeeds, I succeed. We're like one big family. I see the impact that our training can make on a student's life as well as their family's lives and the community. It's very rewarding and cool to be able to attend graduation every year and know all of our students on a first name basis. It's also very rewarding to know when an employer contacts me searching for a graduate to hire, that I'm able to give them a well-rounded recommendation for the students that I am recommending. We're willing to go the extra mile to make sure that the students get where they need to go. We're like a family. The most enjoyable part of my job is to meet and know students who come from all different backgrounds, knowing their struggles and helping them to change their lives for a better future. I think that this college is the best way to earn an education, especially if you want to get into it, get it done so that you can get into that new field. Number one, find your passion and get an education. Start a new path or a career that you can feel good about yourself in.